today, loads of tracker days. Um, it's Saturday, so day seven. Yeah, of course it is, I've been here a week. Um, <laughs> checking out today of Riviera and then off down to Animal Kingdom, but not down, not till later. <laughs> you can't see what I can see, but oh my God, guys, look at this lot. Seriously, looks like we are losing a game of Jumanji. It is horrendous in here. But packing always does, doesn't it? Yeah, fetch too much stuff. We do fetch too much stuff. Um, one thing I have brought, and I am so glad that I do bring it now. I, I bring it, I do bring some every time, and that's this um, Loratadine antihistamine they don't make you drowsy um i suffer with with eyes and i can come out here and not suffer with them at all and then i come out here and suffer with it for the whole fortnight it's really not worth it i've had so many holidays ruined because i'm on the lookout for some antihistamines and i'm in a right pickle um yeah i've started with it i have got it now um can't feel it I'm, I'm taking these every day and it's just one in the morning <sighs> worth the weight in gold honestly anyway um we sad to leave this place um i've actually i've, liked I've it too. enjoyed it i think that skyliner is absolutely fantastic um you're in parks in minutes, what's not to like? Yeah. Except if you're on it in a storm. Bloody hell. Um, no, downside I... for me, downside for me staying here is just the light in the room. And that's basically it really. I don't think I've got any more yeah. issues with it. But you've got round that now, you know, you have to open the windows earlier than, you know. I can't see you. You open the blinds earlier than what you normally would do for you. Uh, to me, no. Uh, I've not necessarily seen the result dark, as much then, as I should James. have done. Yeah, it's it's where the sun's coming to. But I'm not, uh, I you know, I'd quite happily stop here again. I'd just like to spend more time in the resort, actually. I, you know, we've been on the go a yeah. lot and yeah. not use the resort as much as the expense no. of what it is. No. It feels a bit weird, this um, packing up as well. It feels, because we don't normally do it, I've, I've always said, no, I'm not packing up, it's, you, you waste a day. Um, doing it but this time we, we really wanted to try Riviera but we knew we didn't want to stay here for the whole fortnight um, and today just feels like I'm going home and in a way I am because I'm going back to our home resort which is fantastic for another week uh, but yeah it just feels a bit weird this packing up malarkey it just feels like we're heading off to airport um, but thankfully we're not um, so we'll see you in a little while and we'll get this room sorted out um, and get off on its way. Um, off down to Disney Springs after here when we've... Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. It's when we've checked out. And the one thing for anybody that's, that might be doing the move in between Where two, you? if you're in the, if you're in the Disney okay. resorts and you're moving from one hotel to the other, it's great. You just, you just drop your cases with the, uh, with Bell Services and uh, they transport them over to your, your, your next resort so that's great uh, when you're on site. So this looks a little bit tidier. <laughs> so Mr Gibson, let's yeah, go. Let's go, let's get booked into the next let's one. Let's do we'll this thing, lunch. yeah. So 11.14 we're setting off and we're leaving room 8. One nine. You've been good to us. On to the next week. It's a hot one, guys. It's a hot one. I think it'll get up to about 90 today. Gotta love the Florida heat. James has just worked out the equivalent of the H2 is, which is... Well, we're going to get to 30. So 30. 30 today. So we currently should be setting around about 29. We're going to get up to 30, which is the coolest day of the week. <laughs> coolest day of the week, guys. 
<laughs> Coolest day of the we week. About 30, I'm 30, gonna cry. 34, 35 the rest of the week, so uh, yeah, to make the most of today. <laughs> I should go to Alaska, really. No, it's too cold. No, I like it here. Yeah, yeah, I like it here. We've just popped into the guest services and guest relations at Disney Springs. Um, we have got some passes from when Adam was a lad. Paper ones. I believe the eldest, the eldest one that we've got is from 2004. So I think it's time to do something with them. They've only got water parks on them and to be fair, we're not big water park freaks now that kids aren't aren't with us and so we don't won't really miss them so we're going to see if they can do anything for us they may not be able to 282 dollars it cost us for a seven day bar copper 282 dollars seven day bar copper inflation eh? and we one. so we gave them the uh, we cashed in the paper cards came out of plastic ones that's that's it <laughs> so we've still got the same amount of water parks that we went in with the only difference is we have now have a plastic card and the fact that we have three cards so we have three paper cards but they've given us three plastic cards now all what it means is that somebody else could use them uh, whereas before the paper ones had our fingerprints to them so uh, if somebody comes out or whatever and it's not they're not having a park ticket um that they can use them because obviously the tickets that we get in the uk have the water parks etc included we can use it on water parks we can use it on the golf um mini golf and such like uh, but yeah i were hoping that that they might have said well as long as it's spent on tickets you can purchase whatever tickets but no we went in with water parks and we've come out with water parks we've got about how many have we got all together uh, as in ten. admissions 10 okay. admissions that's a lot of water <laughs> uh, so yeah I, I don't think we'll i don't think we'll use them to be fair i really don't I'm hoping we've got time for this later. I hope we're not too full. We will be, I know we will be. Let's have a look at these flavours. There's some really nice flavours on there. Look at these. Rhubarb crumble and toasted and neat. Mm -mm -mm. Potassio rose water and strawberry mocha. That sounds nice as well. We do do some strange ones, don't we? Salted donut, guava and cheese. Yeah, I've heard somebody have that and they said actually it was that, it was really nice and it did go together. Hmm. Yeah, I do like my Ghirardelli's though. Well, You're gonna have to have two. Yeah, you might have to have two, <laughs> yeah. We also did a, a brunch, didn't we? Did a brunch at... Um, yeah, out of blue. Was... I don't know if it's still on. I looked, no, I looked it was... a few months ago and it wasn't back on yet. Uh, I didn't think, but yeah, it was a Sunday gospel. Yeah, it was really good fun. Brunch. Really good fun. Um, we didn't really know what to expect, did we? But no. We had a yeah. right good time. Yeah. Uh, it was really fun. Was it my birthday? It was. Did you have to get up on stage? I had to get up on stage with all the, the gospel singers. And, and that uh, is always worth it. That's always, always worth the money. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So busy in here. But then, this is 
It's Saturday. It's half past one. It's gonna be. Um, maybe a quieter spot might be outside. Um, but yeah, it's really busy and hectic in here. But we've just ordered. Um, I can't begin to tell you. I can't begin to tell you how much. I just can't wait. <laughs> I love it. I love it in here. I love their menu. So the food's come, guys. This always makes me happy. I might have food envy. Nom, licking, nom. Not that you've got the movie quote, guys. That was some friends. Well, I am as full as Sully Sock. But save room for this bad boy. Oh yeah. That was a gorgeous meal in there. So so full though. And I've just been coming out and this chap started singing roll out the barrel and I I hope you weren't talking about me. To be fair, if you're right, yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, do you enjoy that? Yes, yeah, yeah. It's, it's right up there with all the top, top meals of the week so far. I always enjoy it. I will say now, I enjoyed Olivia's that bit more. There, said it. Uh, it is nice here. Would I come back? <coughs> of course I would. Within a heartbeat. Um, that hummingbird cake, you can't get anywhere else. Um, I mean, the, um, the chef Art Smith he used to be Oprah Winfrey's personal chef. So, what can I say? Um, but yeah, I just think this time Olivia's for me at the edge. I think just, well, I'd still come back. Yeah, you probably get too much here, which is probably a little bit of a negative because you, you end up having to eat it because you, you don't want to waste something that's so nice. Yeah, but and I think as well, when Olivia's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, Olivia's is around about eight, nine dollars cheaper uh, each, so uh, yeah. Yeah, so for me, Olivia's. Would I want to come and do Olivia's twice and not here? Probably not. Like I say, that humming bird cake does it for me every single time. It is so nice. But yeah, we can come back. Is it a yay? Is it a nay? Yeah, I think it's a nay for me. So we're just on Disney's what would be what would have been Westside. Um, so we're in the Star Wars shop, and James has just pointed out that there's things in here that he's not seen at Batu at Galaxy's Edge in Disney. That is nice. Yeah. How much is that? To forty dollars. Forty. Yeah. So is it like a? It's a thinner. Um, yeah. Like a spirit jersey. Yeah, it's, it's more thinner. like a long sleeve t-shirt. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Really nice. nice. If you're wanting some leggings, the girls wanting some leggings, they're quite nice with the uh, yeah. blasters all over them. Do you think price. if I run in them, the force would be with me? Yeah, yeah, it'd be forcing you, <laughs> forcing something. <laughs> Can't find yeah. the price. Oh, Forty dollars. Forty. Okay. And yeah. there is like a top that's, cool, that's meant to be a runny top that goes with it as well. Yeah, Which not bad. Really quite nice. One of them shorter ones at 65 though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of the t-shirts. <laughs> that's, <funny. laughs> that's funny. 36 99 Quite possibly. Oh, 30. Yeah. So if you some mm. if you're stopping at the uh, the Star Wars hotel or you really want to walk around the parks and you know the gear. Yeah, they do all the bounding, don't they? Here for that and more for the kids than for adult, adults. All sorts of things in here. So, 
the deer that I really do like in here, they, they're doing this, this is 75, it's, so it's a spirit jersey, but with that sort of raised rubber, and it is of the, uh, of the toys that you could have bought, mm. all the little uh, characters, we collect them all. And that's 74.99? Yep, yeah. and there's a, there's a t-shirt around here that uh, goes, what caught the eye initially was the t-shirt, action figures, you know, being a kid of the 70s, you know, we all had, we all had, tended to have all these these characters, yes. 36.99. Yeah. Then they do a little, you know, the kids one, which is a little bit different. Yeah, because I do uh, find Star Wars mainly is black and grey. Um, and for somebody that likes a bit of a splash of colour, it's, it's a bit boring, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go and see some sugar. <laughs> Gosh, just the smell in here, I've got toothache, just the smell. It's really, really strong. And a lot more mobile order in a lot of these places as well. That place really is a dentist's dream, isn't it? Oh. Hey? <laughs> the kids love where, it. Yeah. You know, we've we've spent many a dollar in there over the years. When the kids were little, I thought Yoda were holding his little finger up there. Not to fucking everybody out as it came in the shop. So we've just been told. So we're going to the gym. The Animal Kingdom March. They are. Let's go and see if we've got the room that we wanted. Honey, I'm home. walking along this corridor <laughs> and we're like stayed in that one stayed in that one stayed in this one we have stayed in this one mm. so 5120 is the room Welcome. <sighs> oh yeah mm-hmm yep so there's my little kitchen area we didn't have in the other one that we didn't have in the other one bigger fridge yeah, yeah. Nice thankful for that it was a really tiny fridge which obviously it's going to be isn't it um we didn't get the sink in the other one no sink no worktops mm, should have brought keurig with us from other room yeah but we get all these with all the joffreys <laughs> can be taking some of them yeah. home with it um and let's have some light on the subject we have the jewel sinks uh, this is Mr. Jim. Bathroom. Oh, where is it? Is it? Is it? And the bath. I didn't do any washing. You know, I said I was going to do some washing last night. I didn't because I was a bit uncertain whether it would dry. Uh, with having a big shower, there's actually nowhere to hang it. Whereas here, you just hang your things on on hangers and put them over that bar at the top. Uh, yeah, there is a there is a pulley thing that you put put on there. But I just find that if you've got a lot of washing, it just tends to pull it. So I just put it on a, a, a hanger and hang it in there. So got your wardrobe area and safe. Is that an iron? Yeah. Hair dryer. Hair dryer and iron. Yeah. Plenty of drawer space there. Oh, it's as if they knew we were coming. <laughs> and there's the magic. Up to 90 look now, guys. 
hotter than Lucifer's bathwater. Plain V on there, look. Sofa. Which is a pull Pooge, out. big bed. Let's have a look what this does for us. Oh, hello, Savannah View. There's no aminals. Oh, there's a ostrichy yeah, thing. An ostrich. A couple of ostriches in there. Yeah. The foliage has grown quite a bit since we were last year. Yeah. It's a big bird. Not big bird. It is a big bird. That sofa as well, that is actually a pull-out pull out, uh, sofa bed. So you can easily sleep sleep for in here. Plenty of USBs. So they are all actually double sockets. So there's actually six, six USBs. But who needs more than that? You got a makeup mirror. Yeah, it's not working. Oh. Not to turn on. The other one turned on at the other place. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I need that to work to put yeah, my makeup on no. it morning. I'll have, I'll have to go and call. Well, who are you going to call? Uh, room service. Well, ma more maintenance. For maintenance. Maintenance, yeah. So coming out of the resort, and you met with these two. Uh, sort of filigree metal covering that obviously covering something behind there like a, a stairwell or something uh, but that is to the front of the building and not to the front it's at the back just before you walk in but as you're coming up from the the in front of me is, is all the glass so as you're coming up from the savannah on your left hand side on this one there is actually a hidden Mickey. So let's find him for you. And he is up there and he's right in the middle of the screen now. Can you see him? And there he is. And not a lot of people know he's there. So there you go. So we've come out to. Oh, easy, I'm here. <laughs> I'm just here. I got, I got stopped by the way. She asked me about my t shirt. Oh. This old lady, I mean, there's me. Oh, gimpy gym leg. And she's saying, Was you a Navy SEAL? Because I've got a, a, a t shirt on that says Navy SEAL on <laughs> And a picture of a SEAL on it. Oh, uh, no. He's more likely to have just been the SEAL. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We're out to uh, Epcot. We've got a couple of rides booked. We've got Test Track, which we're heading over to now. And we have got Spaceship Earth after Test Track. And James is just trying to book us another one on his little device. Uh, so we'll see what we get with that. But we're at Test Track. Um, oh, and this. <laughs> This is when you start comparing your last hotel to one you're in now. We love Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's our own resort. It's beautiful. But when you've just had a, a, a week in Riviera and you just hop on that Skyliner and you're in Epcot in five minutes, what's not to like? And then you get on the bus at Animal Kingdom after waiting 15 minutes for it. And then you're on the bus for 20 minutes. <laughs> it's no picnic. But it's what you get used to, and we are used to Animal Kingdom uh, Lodge, but yeah, we've just been spoiled this last week. Just 
popping in to see why Judy. Judy. Why Judy? Judy. <laughs> Can you remember if you want to modify them? Change the drive? Yes, just so you can have a COVID. Yeah. Did you see why? It's just a memory. Yeah, well. It seems ages and ages. Do it. Here in your future, carrying away on vacation is a breeze. Your smart suitcase knows where you're going and what you need. And with solar power from your home and fueling station, you're off. And don't worry about the time it takes, but PDA Imagine as it is today. And the moment you arrive at your ultimate vacation destination, you're out of this world. I don't know who those people were on the screen. They certainly weren't, weren't us. Flipping us were no, they? no. How flipping rude. Anyway, Mr. Jim has got a fun fact today. Right, so you guys can obviously see the spaceship Earth behind us there, which we've just come off. So today, fun fact. Spaceship Earth, obviously it's a, it's a, uh, a globe and uh, you'd think that when it rains, when you get the heavy downpours here in Florida, standing underneath it, the rain would, would drip and run down and you would get wet underneath it. However, they took care of that when they manufactured it, when they built it, they put in a specialised drainage system which actually uh, draws the water away and doesn't allow any of it to drip down underneath people's shelves and underneath. So. Since since it was since it became a rehabilitation centre in 1986, uh, they've released over 300 sea turtles uh, back to the sea. Uh, injured ones that they normally collect and try and uh, nurture back to health. So yeah. I always say it's full of it, you know. But there's like no water in your tank. <laughs> Just saying. What's your name, little dude? Rodolfo. Rock on, Rodolfo. You having a good day? Yeah. Cool. How old are you, dude? Eight. Nice. I was eight when I was your age. Queuing <laughs> <laughs> up for Frozen. Okay. It's the. Uh, I really feel like it's the first time in forever. <laughs> 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 Rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. Was it? I don't know. I think we just need to let it go. Let it go. Some Navy Seal here. It's wetter than a seal. Yeah, went in, saved them, dragged them all out. <laughs> Live to tell the tale. Didn't realise you got so wet on the uh, on frozen. I've not been wet like this oh before. Oh my frozen. god. James got the, he got the best of it. I mean, I've got wet, but he's drenched. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, keep to the right-hand side of the boat, guys. Kim was on the right-hand side, and 
And I was on the left. Well, I scooted to the middle because on the right, the seat was all wet. So I thought, yeah, this is where they're going to get it. So I scooted to the middle. James was on the left and he got the absolute. It was like somebody had just thrown a bucket of water at him. It went through. Excuse me? Oh. That's nice. Yeah, it does have a hood that goes into the can mm. velcro back into there. How much is it? It's 175. It's 175. Heli handling. It comes in white as well. Mm. I actually like the white more. I like the white, it's just not practical for no, me. No, no. And I couldn't wear a white no. It's 10 to 11 in the PM hour. That's, that's, the, latest, that that's the latest we've had, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that's what we tend to do early mornings in the first week when your body clock wants to get up at three in the morning. Just roll with it. Just roll with it. There's nothing you can do. And then towards the second week, we get later mornings, but are in bed or out. We're out a bit later, aren't we? So in bed later. Yeah. Uh, so we've been to Epcot tonight because we got to Animal Kingdom uh, Lodge and the bags had not not come over from Riviera. Having said that, we did get an email to say the room was already half past one, so they're not going to be here. Yeah. So we decided to make use of the time and go off to Epcot, as you will have seen. Harmonious. Amazing. I don't like change, which is a big thing when you're coming to Disney because it changes all the time and I'm not big on it. But you know what? Give Disney a couple of thousand fireworks and they will wrap a show around that like you've never seen before. And I mean like you've never seen before. <sighs> Just amazing. We'd not seen anything about it, had we? We'd not We'd not really we'd taken We'd read much bits, notice. but we'd not we'd not gone out and searched for stuff. So a bit of a surprise for us. We didn't know where to stand. Um, now we do. Um, top tip: if you're watching Harmonious, in our opinion, the best place to see it is where the boat launches to go over to the countries. Yeah, just in front yeah. of that launch there yeah. because you, you you face on there we didn't realize until we were actually exiting the park that we were sideways on it was still looked amazing we didn't realize we were sideways on so we missed a lot of things out didn't we because on the screen yeah, was, we probably there was didn't a screen get. that we didn't see um so watch it from that end and you're also one of the first out of the park which bonus um we didn't do too bad of buses coming back we didn't have that half hour wait that we normally that we normally we actually have. did better coming back with the bus than we did going with the bus <laughs> yeah we sent no to fairness. wait ages didn't we yeah 
Yeah, I'm loving that Skyliner. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. spoilt me. Yeah. Um, but we've had a good day, haven't we? We've had a busy day. Uh, I didn't expect to be as busy. Um, it's, well, we started off really quite leisurely, weren't we? Yeah. We didn't leave till like half eleven from yeah. the hotel. And then uh, it just yeah madness. But. Um, tomorrow we are Animal Kingdom. Oh yes. No, we're Animal Kingdom. Yeah, we've not been to Animal Kingdom yet on purpose. You know, when you're down Epcot and and Hollywood Studios way, you don't do the travelling to come up here when you're staying up here. So yeah, we're gonna um, gonna bang. Um, Animal Kingdom out now um, so let's see what rides we get on tomorrow and see what we get up to I think we've got stuff planned so yeah. we'll uh, chat about that in the morning but anyway guys thank you so much for sticking with us um, like subscribe drop us a comment we will we will answer every comment um, and we're just really thankful that you're watching us it must be hard. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. See ya. See you later.